Nobody's Boy. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Remy who lived in a village. The people he lived with had found him on the street when he was a baby, and he did not know his real parents. His foster parents only kept him in the hope of getting a reward from his real family someday. They didn't send Remy to school and forced him to work all the time. One day, Remy's foster father injured his leg while working. A few days after that, he took Remy outside with him. Father, where are we going? <clears throat> Shut your mouth and follow me. Remy's foster father couldn't work as much after his injury, so he decided to sell Remy to get some know. extra money. He looks weak. Yeah, that's deceptive. He's a lot stronger than he seems. And he's a hard worker. Hmm, all right, but this is all I have. That's it? What? Take it or leave it. Ah, very well. Realizing that he was being sold, Remy turned to his foster father sadly. Father, what will happen to me now? I don't want to go. Oh. I'm not your father anymore. The old man turned out to be a traveling performer who wanted Remy to be his assistant. He took Remy with him on a long journey. Don't be so miserable, boy. I'm not a bad man. taking me we don't have a home to go to we will just travel from place to place but our journey will be full of exciting adventures right monkey ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he's taking a liking to you <laughs> Remy could tell that the old man would be good to him, and he really liked his monkey. <laughs> Remy followed the old man everywhere he went, and they would perform together. Remy would go around with a hat, collecting coins from the audience. Thank you. Remy and the old man bought food with the money collected from their performances. When they didn't get enough, they would both starve. Remy, you should have it. Uh, no, take it for yourself. I'm full. This is for you. Winter was approaching, and it grew cold and windy. Fewer people wanted to stand outside and watch the show. Remy and the old man 
decided it was time to go south in search of a warmer place. It was a cold and snowy night. Oh, I don't think I can go further today. Let's stop for the night. All right, Grandpa. Grandpa? Yes, Remy? What do you think my true parents are like? Hmm. If they are anything like you, they must be very good people. Do you think so? Why aren't they looking for me then? Huh? Well, I am sure they are. you find your parents. I must help. The following morning, Remy woke to find that the old man's body was very cold. He had taken off his coat to keep Remy warm and had frozen Grandpa. to death in the Grandpa. night. Grandpa! Please don't leave me! Grandpa! Oh, Grandpa! Grandpa! Please, wake up! Please, don't leave! Don't leave me! <laughs> now that the old man was gone, Remy was all alone again. He didn't know how to search for his parents or what to do to survive. Remy tried performing in the square like the old man had done. Unfortunately, he couldn't play the flute very well, and the monkey didn't want to dance because he was hungry. No one wanted to give them coins, and the people booed their performance. What are they doing? That flute sounds lousy, and the monkey won't dance. Why am I standing here? Now let's go home! No Come on! Remy stood alone in the empty square, so hungry that he could barely move. We need to try something else, monkey. As they passed the market, Remy felt the sweet smell of freshly baked bread. The owner was inside the bakery, and no one was watching the stall. Oh, I wish I could have a little bit of that bread. As he said those words, the monkey slid down his shoulder and snatched a loaf of bread. Uh, monkey, no monkey! Come back here! Remy ran after the monkey, but he wasn't fast enough, and the monkey disappeared with the loaf. No! The baker heard Remy's shouts and came out to see what the noise was about. That boy stole my bread! Come on! The baker assumed that Remy was the thief and started to chase after him. No! A passing police officer saw the situation and caught Remy. <laughs> Wicked boy! How dare you steal my bread! Punish him, officer! Do it now! Well, judging by your grubby appearance, 
You must be a thieving little uh, urchin. Uh, stop! You will come with me to the police station. Uh, no, I'm not a thief. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Tell me the truth now. I will know if you lie. What is your name? Remy told the police officer his name and that what? he was searching for his lost parents. You can't possibly be that, Remy. Oh, my. The officer listened to Remy's story with surprise. With that, the police officer grabbed something out of a drawer. It was a missing person poster for Remy. See this? I must call your parents. Remy's mother picked up the phone and raced to the police station. Oh, 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 my Remy! Uh, oh, oh, Remy! Mother, is that really you? <laughs> mother! Oh, my son! <laughs> oh, my son. I am so happy you are alive. I have searched for you everywhere. <laughs> I have been so lonely and miserable without you, Mother. I knew I would find you again someday. Oh, Mother. I miss you so much, Mother. <laughs> Remy and his mother were finally reunited. They went home together and lived happily ever after. <laughs> the Blue Bird The Three Little Pigs Daddy Long Legs Gulliver's Travels Donkey Skin Peter Pan Anne of Green Gables